What is up YouTube and as always welcome back to another Jesse's RC video. Today we are going to be building our own SD's model rocket like so as you see there that is the ascender. We are going to build one that looks just as good. Uh, not nearly even the price might be even free to you guys. Some of the stuff you're already going to have at home and does not require much time. I am not responsible if this ends up being a guided missile and attacks your crazy neighbor's cat or something, you guys, you are building this at your own risk. What you are going to need for this build? A hobby knife or a box blade. You're going to need you a toilet paper roll of sort, also known as a crap roll. You're going to need you some masking tape. You're going to need something, whether you're building a sugar rocket engine or something, like if you're going to use 1-inch PVC pipe and build your own sugar rocket, you're going to need the diameter or circumference of your motor. I'm going to be building this rocket to accept a D12 engine. You're going to need you some cardboard to cut you out some circles on. Doesn't matter what kind. As you see here, this is box certified cardboard. Does not matter. Does not make one shits. You are going to need you something to make your fins with. I am going to be using old cards that are useless. And you are going to need you a straw and one thing that is not going to be that important because God gave you fingers to use but you're going to need a popsicle stick if you do not want to get dirty to smear some glue. Last but not least you're going to need your main body tube. This is a Christmas roll paper tube. You should have plenty of those since it's after the holidays you guys laying around. Also I almost forgot to, men to mention it you're going to need you some wood glue doesn't really matter, it could be Elmer's, whatever. I know wood glue works on this cardboard stuff phenomenally. Uh, later on down the road, we're going to need something for a nose cone. I have not got that far yet, but uh, I'm thinking of like an Easter egg or something, if I can find one around the house, using an Easter egg and some spray paint if you want to paint it. But there you go, you guys. If I miss something, we'll mention it later on in the video. Let's get on to step one. Okay YouTube, so step one is going to be building the motor mount section of the rocket. So you're going to need your toilet paper tube, your rocket for circumference or whatever the hell you want to call it, the roundness. And you're going to need your main fuselage tube, as you can see here, one end of it. And all you're going to do is take your cardboard that you have laying around, you're going to put it down, and you're going to take you a pin and you're going to mark your two lines around it, all the way around. And that's step one. Step two, cut them out. Okay, YouTube, so once you get them cut out, you just want to kind of hold them up to the end and make sure that they're going to slide in snugly. You don't want them too loose, you don't want them to fall in, but you don't want them to be so wide that they won't go in. You want a little bit of pressure when we finish the mount to be able to slide the mount up in do not worry about how loose your cardboard is as these things are going to turn rock hard once we get in all the glue on them because we're going we're gonna to pretty much stack glue all over this. So it won't no longer look like cardboard, it'll look like dried glue you guys. But once after you cut them out, you're going to want to center the rocket or whatever you're going to use for your measurement that your motor is going to be in. Put it as centered as you can and draw another line with a pin around it. When you're done drawing your line, they should look like that. Next, you want to cut them out. Okay YouTube, so once you have your circles cut out, you're going to want to take both of them and you're just simply going to slot them over your engine to make sure that it's a snug fit. If you need to make minor changes to the inside trim or the outside trim later on to make everything fit better, you can. But for the next step, you're going to need your rocket engine and your toilet paper roll. Okay YouTube, so for this step I forgot to mention you're also going to need some of your wood glue. What we're going to do is be actually making the housing for your motor. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your motor, and you don't want to get glue on your motor now because it's going to have to stay in there while it dries and you don't want that to happen. But what you're going to do is you're going to try to make it as tight and as straight as possible and you're going to roll your engine up inside of here. That way your engine will still slide out, in and out once it's inside the rocket but you want it to be kind of snug and as you go along you want to run glue along the seams as much as you can before the glue actually sets you can pull the motor out just make sure it's holding enough that you don't want it loose so your motor just falls in and out as you see there's some space there you want it to be kind of tied up against the walls and everything that way it has a smooth flight it's not wobbling around inside your rocket 
So uh, I'm not going to demonstrate this in the video, but I'll repeat myself one more time. As you roll it, once you get about that first roll around, you're going to put you some glue. You're going to keep rolling it, glue, keep rolling it some more, and glue. And eventually you'll have you a nice, sturdy rocket housing. And you want it to be as flush as possible on the end. All right, YouTube, so once that is dried, just make sure that it still fits and all that good stuff. It should if you've done it right. Now you want to let your motor, th this motor mount is going to sit flush with the bottom rocket tube, so you're not going to see this part. But I like to let my motor stick out just a bit for easy accessibility. And really about that far is good enough. And you can use a paper clip, you guys. I'm going to use this. Now what we're going to do is build our tool that's going to hold our motor in place. So we're going to put a 90 degree bend here long enough to poke through the sides so the motor can't go in anymore. And since I already have this nice little bend in mind that holds the motor, I'm just going to be leaving like this like it is. This is a tailwheel bracket for an RC plane. If you guys fly RFs or anything or put your own model planes together, you'll know what this is. But you can do the same thing with a paper clip. I'm going to put my 90 bend in this and show you guys what it looks like when we come back. And I'll show you how to put it in. Okay, YouTube. So I went ahead and put my bend in my landing wheel bracket. This part's going to go inside the tube itself. And this is going to stick out the bottom to hold the motor in place. What you're going to do is let the motor stick out still the distance that you want it outside of the engine mount. Like I won't mind about that far sticking out. I'm going to take my pin and mark this end at the end. That way I'll know where to insert my uh, 90 degree bend in here. You want it just above that. That way the motor still goes all the way in to where you want it to. But you still have enough down here to be able to pull this back and get your motor out after you're done with the launch of your rocket. So you're just going to start you a hole with a hobby knife or something, poke this in there and put you a dab of glue all the way down the seam till about halfway because you want a little bit of flex on the end with your paper clip or whatever you're using so you can pull this out of the way to pull your motor out. And after we do that, I'll be right back. Before you glue it in place, you guys, you want to make sure that your 90 is evenly inside the rocket motor. You don't want it turned to one corner or something because you don't want the chance of the motor slipping by. So when you glue it, make sure everything's centered inside of it. Alright, YouTube, so once your glue is dry on that, you want to check and make sure that it's springy enough that it'll open and close to hold your rocket in place at the bottom as well. As you can see, I can pull mine out and I can slide my motor in and out and then it'll lock it back in place. Uh, after that, you're going to want to glue on your circle pieces, and this is going to con conclude part one of the engine mount build. You are completely done building your motor mount. Up next is the actual main fuselage assembly in part two. Uh, you'll just have to look out for my video. If you can't find it below this one, go to my channel, you guys. It'll be on there, and we're actually going to fit this in, get it glued. We're going to work on our fins next in part two. So look out for that video.